Yo, it's your boy Edward from Boxing Fanatical, and I'm ready to give you guys another segment. Today, we're going to talk about the most respected boxer, in my personal opinion. And I know there's a lot of things that are out there. Things like the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. Things like the best knockout of the year. Or simply just the best fighter of the year. But in this boxing world where risk and reward is given so much weight, I want to be able to crown a title that encourages the opposite. So I'm not gonna do it by yearly, and I'm not gonna do it by fight. I'm gonna make it an all around thing, and for someone to elevate over someone else, they have to really prove themselves in the respect category and that's not going to be an easy task and as i'm combing through and narrowing everything down i've come to a conclusion the most respected fighter right now at this moment is kel brook now i'm going to explain why i feel that kel brook is the most respected fighter but he definitely is the most respected fighter i'm gonna be honest with you this one wasn't even difficult he's the most respected fighter and you have to take that throne from him you have to take his crown off and you have to put it on yourself i don't just give it by yearly you have to take it it's like a title that's how i'm gonna crown these people like a title hopefully this encourages people to be more self-aware of what the fans are seeing and how they are representing themselves outside of the business aspect of boxing, which we have to take into account. There is a business element to boxing. We can't pretend like that's not the case. But when someone sees that business opportunity and still seizes the moment to be great, you gotta respect that. Thus, the most respected boxer uh, title which is what Kel Brook has. Now I'm gonna go ahead and explain why I gave it to him, of course. Some fans might say, well, no, 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 no. Gennady Golovkin is the one that has the most respected title. Or another fan might say, no, 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 no. The most respected person out there right now is Canelo Alvarez. Or some might even say, hey, you know what? Cotto mustered up the will to go against the bigger Canelo. So maybe Kodo's the most uh, respected fighter. Mm. All those fighters are good, but all of them weighed on the less risk with a high potential for reward, which you can't blame, but you're also not gonna get the title of most respected fighter. That's just how it works. Kel Brook came to the United States to fight Sean Porter in 2014. Now in 2014, Sean Porter was undefeated. Sean Porter was a heavy favorite. Sean Porter already showed that he could upset the apple card. And even after Kel Brook defeated Sean Porter, Sean Porter still went on to defeat Adrian Broner. So what does that say about Kel Brook's achievement? It means it was well deserved. Kel Brook beat a guy who wasn't faded it was a guy who still could compete at a high level. It was a guy who had a very close fight with Keith Thurman. It was a guy who upset Devin Alexander. Sean Porter was not easy pickings. And Kel Brook didn't take the easy route. He had an O on his record. He could have easily said, oh my goodness, if I'm going to fight Sean Porter, then Sean Porter needs to come to England because I need some backup just in case you know the fight gets to the wire i need these judges to have a little bit of leeway on airing on my side he could have said hey can you come to the uk let's do this over here with my judges please but he didn't do that instead he came to the united states fought in california and won on points and it was a masterful exhibition as well very well rounded foot movement was really really sound he was doing everything that he was that he needed to 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 take away the positives in sean porter and accentuate his positives to defeat sean porter in a points decision mat fight 
that was really, really good. But just that alone wouldn't have given him the moniker of the most respected fighter. Now you gotta understand, it was a lot of elements that made me decide that Kell Brook should be the most respected fighter. He was undefeated. That is very stressful for a fighter. That undefeated record means a lot to them. It means a lot. It's almost validation that you cannot be beat because no one has beaten you yet. To lose that, you lose a little piece of you. Some people are never the same when they lose their O. Insert Ricky Hatton. Insert Adrian Broner. When people lose that O, they lose a little piece of themselves as well. So you could imagine how frightened someone might be, even as a fighter, to go into a fight where they can potentially lose that O where the odds are against them. Their Sean Porter is within his weight class. They were both 147 welterweights. It was great, it was good. But then he took it one step further. This September, he went ahead and fought Gennady Golovkin. Whoa, whoa, ho ho hold up. He didn't tell Gennady Golovkin to come down two weight classes. He went up. Yes, he went up two weight classes. Not one, two. Not one and a catch weight, two. He went up two weight classes and didn't even have a tune-up fight. Didn't even have a weight class test out, let me see if test the waters fight with a no ranked opponent to see if he's comfortable in the weight under the lights against a power hitter. No, he went right to the power hitter. Gennady Golovkin is being avoided by people in his weight class. Do I have to stress this enough? In his weight class, he's being avoided by people in his weight class. And Kell Brook went up two weight classes to face him. You gotta respect Kell Brook. And then, not only did he go there, this guy went to win. One thing that I saw a lot floating around was that this was a money fight. Look at this, look at this. This is a money fight. Wow, good going, Gennady Golovkin. Yeah, you got, you just wanna get a little payday. You're just using a star name to get yourself higher up there and pretend like you, you're fighting the best, but you know that guy's small. Yeah, but none of this takes into account Kell Brook's side. Kell Brook is going up to face a behemoth of a man who is knocking out everybody, this is not even an exaggeration, everybody in his weight class. This wasn't just a money fight for Kell Brook, this was the fight. If he would have won that fight, I would have instantly catapulted him into the top three pound for pound. I don't care what the criteria is for pound for pounds list. If he would have beaten Gennady Golovkin at Gennady Golovkin's weight coming from 147, he would have been top three pound for pound fighter. No questions. And something interesting happened too. He came to fight. No indication at all that Kell Brook was there to get a payday. Kell Brook was there to win. Did he win? No. Was the stoppage premature? I don't know. But I'll tell you one thing, I had Kell Brook up in the fight before the stoppage. And although he lost because of a stoppage that may or may not be questionable, the fact that he went up there to fight Gennady Golovkin while being undefeated makes Kell Brook the most respected man in boxing. Respect.